Hey guys, how are you doing today? I was mowing again today, um, and I got quite a bit done. I finished off most of the backyard. I still have to go around the garden space, which I know I said yesterday that I would get it done, but uh, it's too hot out here. <laughs> um, so I went and did a different area that needed to get done because it was uh, growing up pretty quick, pretty quick. And I just want to say how we deal with our Texas heat, um, especially when it gets to the triple digits for, for our area. Um, because with our area, there's humidity quite a bit with our heat. So um, it's not like um, the Panhandle of Texas or Arizona or New Mexico, um, which is more of a dry heat. Um, our heat has some moisture to it, so it makes it feel hotter, a lot hotter than it really is. And that causes us to sweat a lot. And just make, and so we have to make sure we stay hydrated, which is one way um, we combat the um, hot weather here in Texas, is to stay hydrated as much as possible. What is it? What do you want to show me? So apparently he wanted some water, which is perfectly fine because he needs as much water as he um, can while it's hot. Um, another thing that we do to keep cool is to be in the shade um, when we're not working because it can get really, really hot. And if you're in shade where the wind's blowing, like right where I'm at, it is a nice, cool way to um, keep your temperature in check. So you don't overheat and um, have a heat stroke. So um, another way we can another way we stay cool is by wearing hats, and sometimes we'll wear basically like a handkerchief or a rag, get it wet, and then wrap it around our necks, and that will help us stay cool when we're outside in the heat. Now, this hat feels a little small because it's been out in my truck because I took it with us when we were getting wood chips one time and then I never got it out. And so I haven't been using it like I should be. Hopefully, I keep this inside and be able to use it on a regular basis because I like this as my uh, hat to be doing stuff outside with because it gives good protection from the sun but also keeps me cool because of the ventilation up top and it just helps to keep you cool especially on hot days now as you saw yesterday malachi had his hat on hey do you like your hat
just in case we didn't catch it that's the first time I've tried to teach him to uh, swing a bat on a ball and I don't think he's quite got it yet so we'll work on that he'd rather play field hockey than baseball so another way that we stay cool here in the 100 degree heat of Texas is by staying inside whenever we come inside we run our ceiling fans or and or blow fans that we got several years ago and they work really well even a bit in a big room um, like our living room or dining room or wherever it is very efficient in use of electricity um, now we will run our AC unit a couple times for for a little while um, just to help cool off the house a little bit quicker but we try not to use the AC as much because it does use up a lot more electricity so the ceiling fans and the blow fans as I said work really well now the downside of being inside during the heat is it may cause um, laziness which is a trap I fall into quite a bit I get into this mode of oh it's so hot I don't want to do anything so let's just kind of relax inside until the heat dies down then we'll go outside and do stuff but there's always things to do inside and so the key is to not let that trap cause you to fall into lazy and so I'm trying to work on that a lot a lot more than I than I used to um, when I was younger uh, if it was hot I'd be like yeah I'm just staying inside um, now um, since being on the homestead I try to want to do things more um, but I still get into that trap of it's too hot I don't want to so I know I keep on repeating that but that is a a big thing about Texas heat is it can cause you to be lazy not everyone but at least for me it can make me be lazy and as I said I just need to work on getting past that and be more productive whenever I have things to do and need need to do those things so hopefully I get better at that and not fall in that trap. Hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Can you, can you wave bye bye? Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all! Bye! <laughs> Good job.